average of the required classic bike racing. About 62 different bikes will be thrashing it out around the streets of this small Canterbury town, but it's becoming synonymous with classic bike racing. The history goes back to the 50s when there was a speedway track here, and then that disappeared for many, many years. It started again last year with the inaugural one. This year is bigger and better. Interestingly enough, there are no rules as far as first, second and third is concerned. There are trophies, but not for where you get on the track, but the way you behave on the track. And those trophies are given out after a vote by the competitors.
was always on hand and uh, he's become a, a great friend and uh, I think he knows more about BSAs than the BSA factory. Where to from here? You're going to stick at it? Well, um, as a matter of fact, I've uh, rather accumulated some motorcycles in the last three years. I have uh, four at the moment, which I seem to be uh, always working on. Um, but uh, I doubt whether I'll uh, continue it uh, for much more than another three odd years. I guess um, I feel old enough now. But some of you guys you're competing against are up in their 70s and 80s. Yes, I, uh, I, I take my hat off to them. Uh, some of them do remarkably well, but uh, I don't think I'll last quite that long. Any sort of motorbike racing at all covered? Anything's going on in. <laughs> Trials, speedway, scrambles, you know, road racing. Been a few changes in the odd 50 years? Oh, has there ever. See the old bikes down there. <laughs> Important for you to come out and, and still show these young guys that you've still got a bit of it in there? I'll get behind the field now. <laughs> I've been racing a lot of bikes over a lot of years, but I promise you, you can still keep them very honest. I'll be back with more from Rakaia straight after the break. Welcome back to our coverage of the Rakaia Classic bike racing in Ross. You've been doing this for a long time, but there was a bit of a gap in the middle. Just, just 
just the atmosphere and the old bikes and the street racing. It doesn't happen very often now, so I think that's what it must be, yeah. I like the way that it's dragged up, for example, a pretty good array of Harley Davidsons. You've got Zephyr Sixes that yeah. are on parade. You've got all sorts of other race cars and things. So you open the door to everybody to come and have a rub shoulders with everybody else. Yes, um, that's part of our job. Um, Cam's actually organised the racing, we organise the event, so yeah, we just invite as many people as we can to get that atmosphere and get, we try and go for the classic, classic look, yeah, to go with the name of it all. Yeah. Got some commercial people as well, Carol, they're, they're part of the atmosphere? Yes, yes, we've got um, a lot of sponsorship, we have great, fantastic sponsorship from the Rakoa community, it's amazing, yeah. And it's probably the odd one, you won't want to mention them all because we'll be here until next week, but there, there'll be some who really shine. Um, both the um, Railway Tavern, South Rakoa Hotel, Gold Pine, who have given us all the fencing for safety this year, um, Malcolm Love, Classic Hits, just to name a few. Yep. Yep. Next year you'll be starting as soon as this one is over, you'll have a cup of tea and then you start working on the next one. Uh, we haven't decided. <laughs> we're trying to decide whether we're going to have it yearly or, or annu you know, two yearly. Um, and we haven't decided that yet, so yeah, this is our second one and uh, we're going to decide after this event, yeah. Cams should be complimented on their ability to run a, a race meeting the way they can. Yes, we work really well together, they're a real great bunch to work with. Um, like I say, they do their bit, we do our bit and it just all comes together, yeah.
How many of these are around? This is the only one I know of in New Zealand. Yeah, there are 250cc Ducatis, but they're a different bike altogether. This is a Spanish bike. So the obvious and you can tell by the shape of the tank. It's, that's not designed for my belly or anything. It's, <laughs> that, it's the original shape of the tank. Yeah. Now, the, the obvious thing really is, is spare parts and, and if he breaks something or something wears out. Yeah, they, they are a lot of stuff that we've made and what we do is make do with the Ducati parts. And um, we just, you know, alter them and adjust them to suit. Sort of kiwi fire them really? Yeah, kiwi fire them, yeah, you know, nothing that we can't do. <laughs> is there much maintenance on one of these days? Not really, there was a lot of, lot of maintenance that I did and uh, Barry Lynch, one of the engineering firms here in town, he did a lot of work on it for us and um, the, the maintenance is not very much at all really. No, I just keep the revs down, it'll rev to 9,000 so uh, I just keep it down to about eight and a half and that's it. Circuit like this quite a challenge. Love it, love it. Lamp posts, hay bales, all that, love it. Pot I don't, yeah, potholes, I don't like, yeah, down the back straight there's that pothole, I actually cling on with my knees and tuck my elbows in and lift my bum up a bit, so uh, we go over the potholes, but I like the circuits like this, and a lot of the older fellas do like the circuits round the streets. The open circuits like Ruapuna, where you get the young guys, they just leave us in the dust, you know, it's it's too wide open, no challenge. But here, a fair bit of it's cunning. Cunning, old age, yeah. Old age and cunning beats good looks and youth. <laughs> I might have said too much there. Yeah. No, we're, we're running at the back of the field, but or the middle of the field, and it's really enjoyable. Yeah, thank you.
but I don't hope to finish last. <laughs> and you will do everything you can not to. Yeah. <laughs> he was very well thought of. He would have he would have liked to have known that you were riding in his name. He upheld the whole thing about Cam's racing. He was just a just a classic man. You know, loved by everybody. So you and you're looking after his bike for him as well? Just for the time being, yes. Yep, 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 yep. Now your own is an HM? It's a yeah, Honda motor, it's a three, CB350 Honda, yep. it's a 1968, 350cc, and there's a lot of these bikes in this, they won't this thing today, real several, probably about 20, 20 of these bikes competing today, and he's also got the um, very good machine, very reliable, fun to ride. It doesn't have a built-in oil leak? 50. This one did yesterday. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Um, but generally speaking, they're very good bikes. Yeah. 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 What sort of things do you need to do as far as maintenance and to get them organised? Change the oil, tighten the head, tap the tappets, and that's about it. Really? Mm -hmm. And is it a surprise that um, that you've got Japanese bikes coming into camps like this? Because you sort of think of bears and how pure and, and, and British and European they were with America. Well, bears have even got a class for us now with our Japanese bikes. And those classic, um, no, I mean things will get a bit expensive with the with the British stuff. People want too much money for it. Um, why not go for something something else, something you can afford to run? Is this your ultimate bike, or have you got your eye on something else? There are things I would like, but um, I wouldn't be able to afford them. So I'll stay with this. I'm safe with something. It's not too fast. That's the other thing which we haven't talked about on the program is the capital cost of some of these because you probably don't need to spend too much if you don't want to. No, initially this, this bike cost me three thousand to buy, and it doesn't cost a lot to maintain. Mm. And you get a fair bit of use out of them. Oh yeah, yeah, week after week. Yep. Yeah. How many meetings do you manage to get to? Hard one. Probably last year I probably did about twenty-five meetings. That's a lot. That's a lot of motorsport. That's just some of the characters and some of the action from the day in the sun at the Rukaya Classic. We'll be back at the same time next week with more action and fun.